Hey guys, it's Maggie. I'm back. Um, I just got home from Chicago and um, as always, I'm looking fancy, you guys. I always get all fancied up for you. If you're here for the first time, again, I'm Maggie and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. Um, I've just started it in the last three and a half months, but I have um, from day one, uh, told my story on YouTube and it's been super fun. So if you would please subscribe and maybe make a comment and have any, if you have any questions or are there are any videos you'd like for me to do, I would love that. So anyway, I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to tell you guys what sold in the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that I was in Chicago. Let's do this. Oh, and my son shipped it all for me while I was gone, which was great because that means I didn't have to mess with any of the shipping. Such a sweet boy. Okay. The first thing I sold, and I've 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 made this clear my thoughts on this topic clear before you guys, and this really is a great illustration of um why I feel this is important. But this is just um it's called a made for life t-shirt, and it's not a fancy brand at all, but it was just a really cute shirt, and sometimes um it's okay just to buy something because it's cute. Now don't buy it because it's cute and think you're going to get $200 for it because you're not. But um, this is just a, uh, what's it called? It's it's an athletic top. I think it's made for life or something like, I think that's what I said. Um, it's maybe from Target or Walmart or somewhere. I can't remember. But anyway, I sold it for $17 um, and it was, didn't make an offer, didn't anything, just bought it. Um and it was, I was actually kind of surprised that it sold like that, but it's just a good example. Again, it doesn't have to be super fancy to sell it on Poshmark. You can sell things that are just useful and cute. Um, the next thing I sold is a pair of Lies Capris. They're just plain exercise capris. Um, oh, low battery, just plain exercise black capris. And those are size large and I got $24 for those, which is a really good sale for me. Um, here's the, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I thought I would just show you guys what the tag looks like. I should probably figure out that pronunciation. The next thing I sold are a pair of Bass shoes. I got these at the Goodwill Bins, but they were absolutely perfect condition, as if they'd never been worn. So that was a really good find. The next thing that I sold was, and I don't know if people call it ink, or what, how they pronounce it, but it's INC is the brand. And it's this cute little jacket and it's got ruffles um, all around this part and all around the collar and it's got little ruched sleeves. So cute. It's one of the first things I ever listed. And I was so enthusiastic. I washed it and I ironed it before I had a steamer. Um, and I just made it perfect before I listed it. So I was super glad that it got a home. And it sold for 15 That's when I started dropping prices for the uh, closet clear out. The next thing that sold is this Maurice's tank, which you guys might remember from a haul video I did. And that sold for $15. The next thing that sold, let me see, that's not looking very good. Here we go. These are a pair of tangerine workout pants. Um, I've had these for a while, and so I did drop those for closet clearance. They'd gotten a lot of attention, but they just hung around for a little bit. Um, and somebody paid 12 bucks for them. Fine with me. You guys know how I am. If I get $10, um, I'm a happy, happy girl. So the next thing that I sold, which I can't believe I sold this, but I'm okay with it. This is a pair of vintage Calvin Klein bibs. Now, I got these at the bins, you guys, so I did not have a lot of money invested in these. I know that they're a rare piece, but they're also um, a super duper small size, very small. Um, they'd gotten a lot of attention, but nobody even asked enough questions that made me think they might buy them. Um, I went ahead and sent out an offer to all the likers, of which there were like 10 or something, um, and I sold them for $19. A lot of people would say, oh, you should have held out for 60 or 70 or 100 or whatever because they're vintage Calvin Klein bibs. But um, I did get them at the bins. And sometimes you just got to say, it's okay. $19 is still a lot of money when you only have $1 to $2 invested. And, um, you know, a bird in the hand. I'm okay with that. So anyway, the next thing I sold 
is this um, Maurice's top. It's from their plus size collection. Um, adorable. I got it at the bins. I sold it for $15. So that was a really good sell. Um, here is my next sale. This is a red Torrid top. And I think I showed you that in the um, one of the Goodwill hauls that I did not very long ago. Um, so that sold for $16. This is, honestly, this is one of the cutest little shrug cardigan things I've ever seen. Um, and it just didn't sell. And I have no idea why. I think the picture's good. Um, the design is good. And we all know that ruffles are really in right now. Um, but I had that since I first started all of three and a half months ago. But still, it's a long time for me. I don't like to hold on to merchandise for that long. And um, anyway, low ball. Somebody sent me a $5 offer today and I took the advice of so many folks here on YouTube and I did not get offended. I just did a counter offer. They actually offered me $5 for that sweater, which I would have made $2. No, I'm not going to do that. But instead of just ignoring it or declining it, I sent the I sent a counter offer for 15 and then they counter offered with 10. That's fine. I got it at the bins. Maybe there's probably no way that it cost me a dollar. So I turned less than one dollar into um, what would be seven dollars after Poshmark fees. So it's really not bad at all. Um, and I'm glad that it's going to go to a home and have some good use. So Anywho, that is the, those are the 10 sales that I had when I was gone for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in, um, Chicago. And come here, boy. Come here, little boy. This is Arnie. He's a good boy. Anyway, um, those 10 sales, the gross amount of sales, if I did my math right, which you guys, I am tired. I just got out of the car for a long time. So the gross amount of sales was $162 and after Poshmark fees, it's $129. Um, and I don't know how much the cost of goods would have been, but it's really not that much, but I'm not doing that math right this minute. But anyway, even if you say, and I think a high estimate would be that my cost of goods would be $30. I think that's a very high estimate. So I think I cleared about a hundred dollars on 10 items, which that makes me really happy. And the fact that my son is really pitching in and wants to participate um, is so helpful for me because you guys know I have two other full-time jobs. And um, so, yeah, if he could do some of the legwork for me and, um, you know, the packaging and all that stuff, um, I think that would be really helpful. One last thing before I let you guys go, I got myself a real camera for YouTube. Now, it's not fancy. Um, it's just... Uh, it was only $80 for the camera, the tripod, and a little uh, memory card thing. Um, so it's definitely like a baby camera. It's um, just a, a starter camera. Um, the reviews were really good, though. It got five stars on Amazon. And uh, it was funny because it said it was really simple to use so that, you know, it's a good thing to get for your kids when they're first starting in photography. And I thought, well, that's perfect for me because I have no idea what I'm doing. So... Anywho, I'm really excited about that, and I think that's going to free me up to be able to do some videos um, in my kitchen. I want to do, I want to show you guys how to make a pie. I want to show you guys how to make that um, coconut oil soap that I've been talking about, and I also really want to um, show you guys my listing process, because I remember when I first started, the listing process really overwhelmed me and um, when I watched Empty Hanger and a few other people do their listing process it so helped me to to be able to go step by step and then eventually develop my own listing process so I really appreciated that from them um, and really do go check out Jenna's closet or Jenna's YouTube uh, at Empty Hanger and um, a few other people State's Place um, her name's Nicole she's really great um, the poetry of nice you should go, definitely go check out her channel there's um oh little black hanger you should definitely go check her out she's awesome um honey rags go check her out there's a lot of folks here on youtube that can teach you a lot of things about how to make money on poshmark um and actually like i've told you you can start making money pretty quick so 
Anyway, you guys have a good and safe night and sleep tight, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.